This work presents enhancing autonomous driving systems with onboard deployed large language models. Today's autonomous driving heavily relies on data-driven machine learning, training large neural networks on vast data sets. However, after 15 years of supervised learning, level 5 autonomy still remains elusive. A significant problem of data-driven approaches is that they struggle with anomalies in daily traffic since one can't capture every out of distribution scenario in a data set. In contrast, humans intuitively know how to handle the unexpected and LLMs representing the closest form of artificial knowledge machines could therefore have their place in enhancing autonomous driving systems. That being said, let's explore how LLMs are already transforming robotic control across other domains. Approaches like language to rewards and narrate among others show the benefits of LLMs guiding high-level robotic tasks. Looking at what literature agrees upon is that LLMs are ill-suited as low-level controllers, on one hand due to the latency of LLM inference, and on the other because low-level tasks such as joint control isn't exactly well represented in natural language. Further, these works agree upon that a reward or cost function offers an intuitive expression for LLMs to interact with robot control. Lastly, most LLM-driven robotic research depends on cloud computing, but robotic fields such as autonomous driving cannot tolerate cloud latency or outages, so onboard LLM inference is essential. With this in mind, we develop a two-level system focusing on decision-making and control adaptation where the LLM interacts with a low-level MPC through onboard inference. The goal of this first stage is to decide whether the robot's behavior follows what the human wants given robotic state information, exemplified by this example prompt. The prompt is also augmented with a rag. The rag embeds driving-specific information, which are saved in a vector index database, where a similarity search with the human prompt yields the most relevant information to augment the LLM prompt. With this, the LLM is now able to decide a if the robot state aligns with the human desire and nothing has to be changed, or b if the robot state indicates that the behavior has to be changed and articulates a natural language instruction on how the robot should adapt the controller in the next stage. Okay, now if one performs this task with a cloud-bound model such as GPT-4, this will do the job well, while locally deployable and thus much smaller models will struggle. However, through model distillation with GPT-4.0, we can train the small LLM through LoRa fine-tuning and get the performance up. With this, the system is now able to detect when and how the second stage of control adaptation has to be triggered. Here, the goal of the LLM is to take the previously generated instruction of the decision-making stage and adapt the MPC such that it fulfills the desired behavior. The structure of the control adaptation stage closely follows the previously introduced concepts. First, the prompt contains the MPC formulation and constraints, which previous work has found to be intuitive for the LLM to understand, telling it which parameters and in which ranges can be adjusted. Then, Robot and MPC specific information can be embedded in the RAG as before. And ultimately, this allows the LLM to update the MPC parameters, which then alters the driving behavior. Again, using model distillation from GPT 4.0 gets local LLMs to perform well. Lastly, the LLM is then Q5 quantized to 5 bit precision, which enables efficient embedded inference on the onboard Jetson or in AGX through the LAMA CPP inference engine. Now let's have a look at the results of the proposed method. First, we will look at the decision-making accuracy, which boils down to a binary classification if the robot's behavior is adhering to the human command or not. For this, we evaluate on eight different driving behaviors in B. With a collected set of 200 robot state samples, and label each state in accordance to each behavior. We do this programmatically for each behavior, resulting in 1,600 labeled state behavior pairs, allowing us to compute the decision-making accuracy as the percentage of correctly labeled state behavior.
behavior pairs. Comparing GPT-40 and different local LLMs, RAG integration delivers a 7.35% accuracy boost. Distilling GPT-40 into smaller models adds another 4.38%, and Q5 quantization incurs negligible performance influence. Ultimately, showing that small and local LLMs are capable of robotic decision-making through the proposed method. Now for the control adaptation. The performance has to be evaluated in a closed loop. We evaluate on four different driving behaviors that allows us to quantify the control adaptation effects of the LLM. For example, in the case of driving on the center line, the baseline MPC has its parameters set to track the racing line, which is far from the center line. This allows us to compute the error that the robot has with respect to the center line. After prompting the LLM, the robot should now be driving closer to the center line, allowing us to quantify this behavioral change in form of percentage improvement. Showing that the RAG enables a 32.8% increase in behavior adaptation, the LoRa distillation of GPT-40 on smaller LLMs adds another 5.5% improvement, and the quantization necessary for embedded inference slightly diminishes the performance by 3.3%, showing that edge deployable LLMs are capable of adapting robot control behavior effectively through the proposed method. Lastly, we perform an analysis of the LLM computation, showing that the Q5 quantization and LAMA CPP inference engine result in a 10x speedup, and that going from an RTX 3090 to the embedded Jetson Orin will be roughly six times slower. Nonetheless, a token throughput of 32.47 tokens per second can be realized on the Jetson. With this, we conclude. A two-level system has been realized, allowing for flexibility through the LLM while relying on the control properties of MPC as the low-level controller. The proposed RAG and LoRa fine-tuning allows for a 10.45% and 38.3% performance boost in decision-making and control adaptation, respectively, and that quantization necessary for local onboard robotic inference can yield up to a 10x acceleration. The human prompts the car that he is not feeling well and would thus want to drive smoothly. However, the MPC has been adjusted such that oscillatory behavior is visible. The Decision X LLM stage detects that the observed robotic behavior does not match up with the human's instruction. Hence, it decides to change the behavior. Then, the MPC X LLM stage adapts the MPC parameters such that oscillations are now suppressed. The car now drives smoothly and the Decision XLLM acknowledges this by continuing the behavior. Now the MPC parameters are manually adjusted to again induce oscillatory behavior. The car now oscillates again. The Decision XLLM quickly captures this and prompts the MPC XLLM stage to adapt the parameters once again such that it is now driving smoothly again. The human now prompts the car to drive normally. As can be seen, the driving behavior is normal, while the Decision X LLM stage decides to continue the behavior. Now, however, manual control is taken over and the car is intentionally crashed into the track boundary. The Decision X LLM stage detects that the car is not behaving normally anymore and triggers the MPC X LLM to reverse the car. Once the car has rejoined the racing line, the LLM decides that it should change its behavior and instead drive forwards again. The robot is now driving normally again, as indicated by the continual behavior output. Then manual control is taken over and the car is yet again crashed into the boundary. Now the same steps as before can be observed. The LLM decides to reverse. Then once it has rejoined the racing line, the parameters are once again adapted to initiate normal driving behavior.